In survey after survey, companies say cyber attacks are one of the biggest risks to business. That's why demand is strong for those who have the know-how to protect networks against hacks. Cybersecurity professionals are in super high demand. Cybersecurity. All right, so yes, I get it. There are a lot of demands for cybersecurity engineers. Many graduates are excited about making a career in cybersecurity, but they don't know the best cybersecurity career path. What is the entry-level job in cybersecurity? What are the required skills? Do companies even hire freshers? Do they require any certifications? And finally, what are the steps to get a cybersecurity job? I'll answer everything in this video. But before we go ahead, if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to keep yourself up to date with cybersecurity tips and career advice as well. Now let's first talk about the cybersecurity career path. There are mainly two career paths. The first is the red team career path. Second is the blue team career path. Red team path. Now professionals in the red team path act as a real hacker and finds the weakness in the system and then make a recommendations. Now there are different types of job role in this path. Penetration tester, also called as ethical hacker, offensive security engineer, red team operator, etc. Now listen, now this path is very popular, but the problem is there are limited job opportunities. And hence, I don't really recommend this path for beginners. Now next is blue team career path. Now, professionals in this career path know everything about the organization and their job is to protect the organization from any sort of or any kind of cyber attacks. Now, this career path has a job role such as system engineer, SOC analyst, security engineer, digital forensic analyst and some more. Now, the problem is it is not popular among the freshers, but the point is around 70% of jobs are about blue team career path. And hence, if you are a fresher and want to get into cybersecurity, I recommend this career path for you. Now let's talk about the best entry level job in blue team career path. Now we just learn about these job roles in the blue team career path. Now being a fresher, I personally recommend you to plan for either SOC analyst or system engineer role. Now let's talk about the SOC analyst. These people are responsible to look at the security alerts on a daily basis. Now their job is to investigate suspicious activities, analyze and respond to cyber threats, and finally documentation and reporting. Now based on the experience, there are three levels in the SOC analyst role. And you will start with the tier one SOC analyst job role. Now let's talk about the system engineer. Now their job profile is not just limited to security. Rather, network, network security, firewall, cloud, server, Linux, and many more. They are responsible to maintain and upgrade the systems. Also troubleshoot the network and the security incidents as well. Just a note, there are more jobs on system engineers than SOC analyst. Now, we talked a lot about both, but the real question is, which one is better? SOC analyst or system engineer? Well, I feel both are good. But being a beginner, being a fresher, your priority should be to get hands-on uh, experience first. Keep yourself ready for both and apply for both type of roles. Just a note here, I started my career as a system engineer and to be very honest, I learned a lot. Now, a two company hire freshers? Yes, there are several organizations who are ready to hire freshers if you have right skills, right certification and right communications. Now the question is what skills and certifications are needed? Don't worry, we'll cover that one by one. What are the required skills? You need to have IT networking skills like OSI, TCP, IP, etc. You need to have Linux skills. You should know about Linux distribution, files, networking commands, directories and permissions as well. Web application skills database skills, cryptography such as encryption and cryptographic hashing as well. Cyber attack skills, you should know about some popular malware or cyber attacks such as DDoS attack, ransomware, fileless attacks, security framework and compliance. You should know about some of the popular standards and compliances such as PCI DSS for payment industry, ISO 27001, and even some of the you know compliances or frameworks such as uh, nest csf you should know about some security controls like firewalls antivirus 
You should know about email security solutions, spam filters, etc. Critical thinking skills is very, very important. Finally, report writing. You should be good at writing reports and making documentations. Do we really need certifications? This is the most debatable topic, but I feel freshers should go for certifications. Most of the recruiters search the candidates using keywords such as skills, job roles and certifications as well. So certifications are important. Secondly, it also shows your seriousness towards cybersecurity career. Now the question is, there are hundreds of security certification. Which one should I go for? I recommend you to go for Security Plus Certification by CompTIA. Now this exam has five modules and this also covers most of the blue team skills and some red team skills as well. Finally, what are the steps to get a cybersecurity job? Step number one, get the certification. Plan for Security Plus. Step number two, hands-on exercises. Learn to set up your own security home lab. For this, you can follow me on LinkedIn where I share dozens of home labs every day. Find the link in the description below. Step number three, rework your LinkedIn. Trust me, it works like a magic. Work on your headline, your about section, your projects, your certification, and many more. You can also download my free guide from the description below. Step number four, fix your resume. Being a fresher, you are not having the real experience, but you can compensate that with any internship experience, home lab projects, certifications, your skills, catch the flag competitions such as tryhackme.com or hackthebox.com as well. Step number five, prepare for the interview. You can expect two types of interview questions. First, technical questions such as what is CIA tried, what is SQL injection, what is DDoS attack, etc. Second is scenario based question where you know you might be getting a question saying that you how would you handle a scenario where your business head is trying to access an unauthorized file. Finally, step number six, apply, apply and apply. Now, see, there's no secret behind this step. Keep applying for opportunities on your local job portal, but additionally, you can make use of LinkedIn job as well. All right, so that's all I wanted to share in this video. If you have any questions or query, please ask me in the comment section. I'll try to answer that personally. You can like the video if you have found this useful and click the bell icon over there to get notified first.